Now let's take a look at how we actually create a feature symbology. Under our linear category, there's a folder called roadway, and I have two entries, edge of pavement and edge of shoulder. If we expand into our linear feature category, you'll notice that I don't have a folder here called roadway, and I don't have to organize these just like my element templates, but it does make it easier to manage. And so I'm just gonna right click on linear and select new category. I'm gonna type roadway. And under roadway, I'm gonna right click, instead of selecting new category, I'm gonna create a new feature symbology. We'll call that edge of pavement. Once that's done, then I will select my default element template. So we'll go to linear, roadway, and edge of pavement. Uh, we always wanna pick our intersection point. Don't forget that. So we'll get that. If we don't need different colors on our tangential versus our arcs and spirals, we can leave all of these set to none. We'll be talking about annotation group assignments later. And so we'll hold off on that for now. And that's really all we need to do to create that. Now, if I wanna create my edge of shoulder, I can right click on here and I can say new feature symbology, or I can just right click on this one and select copy, give it the new name. And then all I have to do is change this one element template. And the nice thing about this is it will take you to the folder that you were already in. So I don't have to navigate and notice how, when I did the copy, it took on that new name as I named it. And it also kept this element template. So that saved me a little bit of time. And so those are all we have to do really uh, to create our feature symbologies is just your right click. And then you're going to choose a new category or you're going to choose a new uh, feature symbology to create. And then you will hook up your element templates.